During NAB this year, I found a bunch of new and exciting kit, one of which was this, the Axoon Cinei. The Cinei is a HDMI wireless video transmitter, which uses your phone as the receiver and monitor aimed at filmmakers on a budget. Out of the box, you get the unit itself, a HDMI cable, a HDMI to mini HDMI cable, a HDMI to micro HDMI cable, a USB-C to A cable for charging, and a manual. This is a great set of cables to come with the unit. Also, the HDMI cables are nice and short, which makes running them from your camera to the unit nice and tidy. The unit itself is nice and compact. Its body is built of aluminium, so it feels incredibly solid in the hand, and it only weighs in at 175 grams. On the body, you only have a few things of note, as it's quite a simple design. On the top, you have the two antennas that fold out. These feel pretty sturdy, but aren't easily replaceable, so be careful with them. On the front of the unit, you have two LED lights, the first being this Axoon logo. This light is used to indicate the status of the unit, of which there are five. White flashing means that the unit is starting up, white solid means that the unit is working, red flashing, which means the unit is resetting, and red solid, which means there is no video input. The next set of lights are these four LEDs. These indicate the level of the battery. On the left side, you have the HDMI in, as well as the power button and the reset button. The HDMI can take up to a 1080p 60fps signal, which will then send out as a 1080p 30fps feed. The reset button is accessed as you would with a lot of other products, so you can use a pin to hold it down for three seconds to reset the unit. On the right hand side of the unit, you have a USB-C port, which is used for charging. Next to that, you have an LED light. This is used to indicate whether the unit is charging or not. This USB-C port is designed to take a 5 volt 2 amp power input. You can also power the Cinei while it's on. The battery inside of it is a 3500 milliamp hour internal battery, which is stated to last around four hours. And from our testing, this seems pretty accurate. Lastly, on the bottom, you have a quarter inch thread for mounting the unit onto your camera or rig. This is pretty standard, but one thing I would change would be the distance of the thread from the edge of the unit. The current Axune app is available on both iOS and Android. With this, we had very mixed results. We've used a range of phones and have found that compatibility is rather hit or miss. If you're a newer iPhone user, this unit is pretty much guaranteed to work. However, with Android, it may be harder to say. The app, however, is decently fleshed out, but there does need to be some improvement to it. Before getting into the app, you need to connect to the Cinei. You can do this by going into your Wi-Fi settings and tapping on the Cinei. Here, you'll be asked for the password. The default password is 12345678. Once connected, you can open the app. This app is also used with Axoon's gimbal, but if you swipe to the left and then click this button, this pop-up will appear. Hit into main and you'll be in the app. From here, you can press the power button to begin monitoring. You can tap in the middle of the screen to hide and bring back the menu. First off, you have a monochrome mode, then RGB, which will let you switch between red, green, or blue only modes. Focus peaking, which is pretty decent with different color modes and level adjustments. False color. A movable 8-bit histogram. You then have zebras with a slider for adjustment. However, there isn't a percentage amount that goes with that, so there's no way of knowing what exposure level you are seeing. Next, you have LUTs. This is handled much easier on Android due to their more open file system. Importing LUTs can be done several ways on iOS, but the easiest I found was to send the cube file via email to myself and then opening it on my phone. You can then copy it to the Axune app and it's in your LUT library. After that, you have a deeper menu system that is mainly there for overlay functions. You have a center mark toggle, safe markings, ratio markings, mark color, mark width, Zoom, which I wish you could move around the frame with. Transparency. Wi-Fi modify for changing SSID and password. And Wi-Fi channel for changing the 5G channel you are on if you are having issues on the one it's set to. You also have the ability to record low quality clips on your phone of the feed using the app. Just tap the record button here and the app will start recording the feed to your phone's internal storage. 
This could be handy for dailies, but the quality isn't great. The app is decently responsive, but we'd love to see a standalone CineEye app with slightly better English and some more settings. The image quality itself is good. There is some delay, but not a crazy amount considering the price point of the unit and the tech it uses. Axion have stated that the signal distance is roughly 100 meters in ideal conditions. We tested the range outside of our warehouse, keeping line of sight. As you walk away, you can see some of the image quality dropping as the signal gets weaker until frames start dropping before it cutting out. It seemed to reach around the 80 meter mark before completely cutting out. Once it's disconnected, unfortunately it doesn't reconnect. To do this, you need to open back up the Wi-Fi and reconnect to the CineEye. You can also connect several devices to a single unit. I've managed to get three iPhones and one Android connected to it at once, but it did reduce the quality of the image a little bit, and I did notice some of them going out of sync slightly. So overall, I could see this unit being extremely handy on a bunch of sets and rigs. Considering the size and the cost, it does a surprisingly decent job, but I wouldn't expect to use this for complex focus pools. If you have any questions on the Axoon Sinei, let us know down in the comments below, and if you'd like to pre-order yours, you can find links in the description.